Hi guys, uh, this is Yolita Brilliant. I am the owner, massage therapist, and licensed esthetician in Burlington, Vermont here. Um, today actually I'm at my home on Sunday, and Sunday so I kind of like to just do fun things, and I thought I'll make a video about comparing three different kind of levels of products and I, was th I, I thought I'll start with moisturizers and their different price points so um, we'll go from like a drugstore to professional grade to a luxury moisturizer item so um, there is this great website inside coder Dot com which I'm not affiliated at all I just found it through Google and I thought it was cool so there you can like enter brand and any specific product you're interested you can find um, ingredients of it and how like it gives you rating you know how good it is how clean how good for skin superstar or icky stuff like you know perfumes that kind of stuff so um, so we're gonna start so I'm gonna have like La Mer cream. I googled La Mer. I actually never had La Mer in my skincare routine before so I can give you like a first-hand experience But you know, it's a very expensive brand. I think one of the most expensive ones uh, I think the this cream probably goes over $300 um, maybe depending you know uh, I'm not um, we're not retailing it I, I'm not like I said never used it but so and I looked at the ingredients here so I have my computer here um, so it, it does have um, seaweed which I think that's kind of like the star performer here and um, so it claims to, uh, you know, make your skin firmer, reduce look on lines, wrinkles, pores, appear less visible, skin looks virtually ageless. That's pretty strong statement. But um, I feel like, you know, uh, making pores appear less visible. That's, that's nice. Um, if it, you know, that's kind of what you want, I guess, from good moisturizers. Um, so what it has, so like you see number one ingredient, algae, seaweed extract, have mineral oil, next we have petro petrolatum, glycerin, which is fine, ixoxacane, not sure what that is, which is impossible to know all the ingredients. It's cool we had to like analyze each ingredient and um, so we kind of had to actually Google and know all these ingredients, chemical or natural ones and what they did, but I'm not going to go because this is going to take forever. It's like 20, 30 ingredients. We have, you know, lanolin, like all, all these derivatives. There's like sesame seed extract. There is um, a lot of things from like, we have some paraffin, some zinc, blah, blah, blah. But so this website it gives you like the highlights so let's cut the chase to those so this have zinc anti-acne have one antioxidant tachoferyl susitane that's highlighted um glycerin then soothing copper zinc glutinate panthenol which is pretty popular ingredient um so of course glycerin that's going to be your moisturizer you know that's what the active ingredient is and that sesame seed the we emollient um, eucalyptus it does have a eucalyptus but we don't recommend um, essential oils on the skin my husband cooking and on the phone sorry about that but um so and is you know so there is um, you know very good and I don't see how this i mean the margin that they're getting for this cream is huge and i think that um you know it's definitely the marketing and the packaging and the luxury uh status of the cream that why they're charging so much but ingredient wise 
like production wise is it really that different that they produce it that differently than uh, a cheaper company would extract the you know eucalyptus oil or seaweed it's like okay let's compare eucalyptus oil you buy from amazon that's organic eucalyptus oil versus we buy young living oils you know the mlm company where they have these huge margins but are all the really that better they say they are in my opinion um i don't know you know don't quote me on that but i don't think it's Yes, you know, it depends how ethically it's sourced and all that and how good wages the employees get, but you know, you can't, you can't know. I think it's just hype. Okay, so let's move. In my opinion, I would not, as a consumer, probably buy this for $350, um, even if I was a billionaire. Maybe I would try it for fun, but I don't think it's any better. So now let's... Um, any better than the less expensive ones um, rather donate that money to charity you know or some good cause or reinvest in your business or something like that but anyway hyaluronic acid boosting serum so from PCA this is now professional grade um, that a lot of like aesthetic offices use the peels made by PCA and different skincare products so yeah, let's look at the hyaluronic acid boosting serum uh, which is uh, moisturizing to your skin so just it's a little less in, less ingredients on the Lemire cream but look let's uh, so the first thing is this what water well because it is um, a serum maybe I should get compare moisturizer better be better but you know so it does have actually more key ingredients it has niacinamide uh, rosemary leaf antioxidant so we have two superstar ingredients one good they'll have no bad ingredients doesn't have any added fragrances only you know the act active ingredients and the ingredients there are for making the products and stabilizing the products you can have some of those but um Actually, let me pull up something more comparable to PCA. Let's do PCA, the collagen hydrator. That would be more, yeah, let's do that. Because serum, I feel like that's not an equal comparison. But let's see. This is rich emollient moisturizer. Contains blend of humectants, sheep butter, shea butter, maximum hydration. Patients with dry and mature skin alleviates dryness, provides excellent antioxidant benefits fragrance and essential oil free you know alcohol free that's what i like like essential oil free if you know it's a uh, fragrance is free that's like a good product and we have so skin brightening ingredient as well have soothing aloe cucumber uh we have um antioxidants one two three four oxidant antioxidants i think this cream retails gosh are you like 50 bucks 45 so a fraction of what Lemire um, and uh, yeah so I mean you know I know PCA makes like with uh, seaweed as well products but not this specific this specific queen king ingredients that they have active is um for uh, like glycerin will be your hydrator there is um a lot of emollients, uh, cyclopensol, I'm not sure what that is, uh, and they have shea butter um, in some form, different form, I think, and um, it has water, good old water. Okay, so now let's look Neutrogena, okay, so that's like your drugstore. Uh, brand you can find or Walgreens or whatever I don't I think you can right I don't know I don't buy their skincare but I used to maybe you know, when I was in high school but um so this one okay as well has you know water first ingredient it's alcohol free of course always want to make sure your facial skincare products are alcohol free <clears throat> then we have we have uh, one, two, three antioxidants. We have soothing panthenol, the same like La Mer had that. And we have acetyl hexapeptide. I don't know 
what that is but we don't have any superstar ingredients here mostly like emollient, panthenol, dimethicone which my aesthetics teacher hates dimethicone don't know why for sure she thinks it's like an evil but I was reading about it doesn't seem to be really that bad but um, there's like you know uh, some other propanediol a lot of dimethicone and if you even go to dollar store like moisturizers that's probably the only thing they'll have and it'll be dimethicone and maybe like glycerin or petroleum jelly stuff um, but yeah so if we get cheaper you know there's like less some superstar ingredients and let's see does it have any fragrance in it it doesn't say that it's fragrance free mm. soothing and mob mulsifying antioxidant so it's gonna moisturize your skin you know but it won't have as many sides of side uh, added benefits as some of the those higher end ones for like anti-aging and extra nutrients for your skin so i don't recommend going super cheap and then not going super expensive i think if you stay in the middle in the skincare that's kind of more professional grade that's beyond a drugstore beyond a drugstore doesn't mean that drugstore doesn't have good um skincare products though they do like you can buy plain vitamin e oil you know to wipe your makeup off or micellar water there's like stuff but um but if we compare ingredients you know the most expensive the least expensive i think the better value you're getting is buying mid-range um like say like 100 bucks you know and make sure that you can always find ingredients if there's a company that hides their ingredients i don't want to work with that company because like what are you hiding you know uh, that's like my pet peeve um there is some companies out there that do that see i want to try one more um biologic recherche i'm really interested to see um okay biologic recherche serum serum this is like all French, I can't even know. Well, this is marine as well. Oh, but this is just a serum. Let's look for, is there a moisturizer here? Mask we want to do serum, serum, colostrum. Colostrum is for cat from cows, by the way. Pretty interesting thing they use. This is some sort of gel silk gem. Maybe that would be a moisturizer. I don't know if that's a, a cool revitalizing gel that tones and softens skin with salmon DNA, which preserves the moisture level of the epidermis and silk. So it has glycerin, key ingredients, glycerin, good old glycerin. I think this is pretty, this is pricier brand than the PCA. I think they're more closer. 150 bucks per or you know i'd say it's probably like that it is alcohol free fragrance and essential oil free which is great um but uh so we have yeah glycerin you know like bca had all these you know and neutrogena had and la mer had, had some so, so so that fico syndica stem extract soothing some sort of plant thing I guess um, and um, thethanolamine buffering ingredient that's like for to keep the, the product together I guess prepo and hyco water yeah it's cool I mean I'm sure it's hard to get that salmon extract composed salmon DNA whatever uh, not vegan friendly this brand just look at colostrum more but but it has really a lot of fans I've heard it really works well so uh, I've heard good things but with the La Mer like I don't know if I really and it did have essential oils which is can cause a lot of allergies so look at the ingredients you know 
um, and you always be probably okay you don't have to spend crazy amounts of money you have good um, facial you know products like we have I want to look maybe next video compare like um, products for specifically anti-aging like any retinol products from different brands so stay tuned video for that thanks for watching thumbs up please subscribe if you want to come get a facial you can add brilliant massage and skin in Burlington Vermont and I'll see you next video bye